My name is Carly Glasser and I'm the face behind the Fireside Shop. So once the Sears shut down in Carlisle, there was nowhere that you could get furniture, appliances, mattresses. It was really just a missing part of this community. I was approached by my wonderful business partners and they just asked me, hey, do you want to start a furniture store? It's interesting because it's the first time in my life that I was like, yep, I'm doing this without even a second thought. Initially getting into this space, there was definitely some work that needed to be done. So we did a huge leasehold improvement, which includes putting in a natural gas fireplace, hence the name Fireside. We have also needed more warehouse space. So we have a separate warehouse to carry more inventory. Our constant rotation and our evolving inventory makes us different. We try to ask our customers what they want, and so we really want to work with people. We don't want them to just come in and buy something. We want to connect with them. We want to see what they're doing and why they're in here, and we want to see their space, and, and we want to know what makes that item special for their space. Just recently, we also partnered with a local maker to create our very own line of accent furniture. So we have console tables and stools available now, and we'll be expanding that in the near future. Stearns & Foster are a luxury line of beds. They are handcrafted here in Canada, signed by their maker, and they will give you the best sleep of your life. So within Saskatchewan, we've had people come from as far as Avonlea, Melville, and White City, Regina area. Word of mouth has been huge. So if they know somebody else who has shopped in the shop and they say, oh, I got this great piece here. We are also very active on social media and I think that has really expanded our reach. I've had people come into the store and say, I follow you on Instagram. I finally made it down here and I'm so excited. One day I had a lady walk into the store and I asked her how she was and what I could help her with and she said I came in here to feel happy. And I just thought that was so exciting that people are not coming in here just because they want to buy something but they're coming in to experience something. 